The present building that houses the Ogdensburg Public Library is Greek Revival and is the cornerstone of the Library Park National Historic District, which was established in 1982. Greek Revival design was popular from about 1825 to 1860 and features low-pitched roofs and columns with double-hung windows with six panes to each sash. Elaborate door surrounds are common with a porch or portico in front of the entrance. The first public library in Ogdensburg was established in 1828 by George Guest, Baron Doty, Bishop Perkins, James G. Hopkins, and Charles Lawton. However, it was dissolved several years later. By 1853, School District No. 1 had the largest public library in the county. A fire consumed the school building in 1859, but the books were saved. Later, the public library moved to the John Barr Block on Ford Street. It was after Dr. Fred Van Dusen was appointed principal of Ogdensburg Free Academy in 1891 that the push for a greater library, which will be of incalculable service to all the citizens of Ogdensburg, began. The books were again moved to the new academy building, which was the former Oswegatchie Town Hall, but Van Dusen wanted a separate library for all to use. Dr. Van Dusen convinced the Common Council to organize a public library, and in 1893, Mary Bean, Margareta Horde, Louis Hasbrook, Barney Whitney, and George Darrow were appointed the first trustees of the Ogdensburg Public Library. The Academy and School Library volumes were transferred to the new Ogdensburg Public Library. Dr. Van Dusen and Fanny Rosio were appointed librarians. In 1895, Mr. and Mrs. George Clark offered to sell their property, Block No. 3, to use as a public park and library. Several leading citizens contributed funds, including the Clarks, and a public subscription raised the rest. The Ogdensburg Public Library was established in this Victorian mansion. After Mrs. Eva Remington offered the library a large collection of her husband, Frederick Remington's work in 1914, rooms were renovated to display the material. A remodel in 1922, which significantly changed the exterior of the building, resulted in a fire that destroyed the interior of the library. The newly remodeled library resembled the Joseph Roseal home that originally stood on the site. The Ogdensburg Public Library became the cultural center of Ogdensburg and the repository for the community's greatest treasures, including Frederick Remington's artwork, the papers of Louis Hasbrook, Edmund Sawyer's bird paintings, General Curtis's Civil War collection, and much more. Today, it provides not only access to educational materials, but meeting spaces and programming for all ages free of charge, thus fulfilling Dr. Fred Van Dusen's dream of establishing an institution for the moral and intellectual betterment of Ogdensburg citizens.